Look at that. It's Tony Yates playing football in my backyard. <laughs> Clement's homebrew. Happy homebrew Wednesday. Wow! I'm here with the amazing Tony Yates with the most acclaimed electric brew system in the Norway. Easy, easy killer, <laughs> easy. <laughs> It's homebrew. Coming at ya. Again. <laughs> yeah, and who was that guy? Who was that? It was a, a sit-in for Christian. <laughs> <laughs> the infamous, and by that I mean famous, Tony Yates. <laughs> <laughs> Traveled all the way from Europe. Yeah, from Norway. So what a treat. Tony Tony is as wonderful in person as you imagine. Uh, <laughs> totally. And Christian is so bummed. He had a concert that night. I had a concert that night, and then I had to work the next day. <laughs> so that that was a bummer, but we'll have some footage on that. Uh, we just got through a late afternoon brew. Christian worked today, and I worked on stuff in the house all day. Yeah. And then we brewed. Take one, Clement's Homebrew mashing in for the SJ Pour Challenge. Too far gone brewing. <laughs> Here we go, baby. Oh yeah. So I've made this uh, basic style before, this basic brew. I'm making some modifications for the challenge. So I'm going to have some local ingredients going in today and at the end. Got her sealed up. She's at temp on the nose. Um, and this is actually a 75 minute mash we got going on here. <laughs> Time to start uh, Vorloffen. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> that's beautiful and dark, just like it should be. Now that's some beautiful first run-ins there. <laughs> that's looking just right. Guess who just showed up? My lucky charm, Brew Dog. <laughs> All right, we are. We're doing a combination bat sparge and then fly sparge. So I bat sparge the first part. And I'm resetting the, the bed here. And then we're, we're fly sparging the rest. It's looking pretty. If you can see, this is this is second runs here. Yeah, yeah. That's looking good. So on this recipe, I add a teaspoon of gypsum and right out of the chute before it's even to the boil. And that kind of balances it really nice. So uh, we kind of kept adding water to pull everything out of here that we possibly could. And we're pretty close to the top. We're, we're, uh, we're about uh, 25 degrees away from boil, but we're uh, looking at very potential boil over. <laughs> so we're gonna have to monitor this one closely. It's getting dangerous time. We didn't even need this spray ball handy. I'm so good at this. <laughs> I was managing it like managing money. I always succeed. No comment. <laughs> what? I'm never broke. <laughs> That's managing money. Oh, you're getting those dark, uh, green smell already in this. Man, that was beautiful. Okay, we're adding one and a quarter ounces of East Kent Golding. <coughs> we 
are adding a, a teaspoon of nutrient while uh, are you doing? the dog's being calmed down. What are you doing? Now we're adding a pound of lactose sugar. Yeah. Right. Milk sugar. And if you haven't figured it out, it's kind of my uh, utter chaos milk stout base on this. But we've got some extra surprises going into it. Surprises? I like surprises. So now we're at uh, 10 minutes left. We're adding some more East Kent Golding along with some homegrown Cascade hops in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that for this brew day, as far as video goes, we're gonna call it a do. You guys understand everything that has. We got 10 minutes left, but uh, competition beer on. We do have things we're gonna add in at the end. Oh, a secret big local ingredient. <laughs> Catch you guys later. So we, uh, we just wrapped up my SJ Port Challenge beer and got it in the fermentation chamber. So we'll be, we'll, Chris will be working on his recipe so we can brew that uh, very soon. If you have not signed up for the challenge and paid your entry fee, like you me. need to do it like the slacker. So, <laughs> but August 8th is the deadline, so be sure to do that. Um, I am, I'm psyched, I'm ready. I really think I've got a nice beer going in this year. Uh, I tried to sabotage it. He did. It didn't work. But, you know. <laughs> but what can we say? So, But I'll try to sabotage his, too. I'm usually good at that. Anyway. He always does. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to cut out for just a moment, and we're going to show you some interesting clips because we had buddies that went fishing this weekend. Fish heads, fish heads, pony, pony. Laughing happy fish heads in the evening, floating in the soup. Fish heads, fish heads, pony, pony, fish heads, fish heads, fish heads, eat them up, yay! Ask a fish head anything you want to, they won't answer, they can't talk. Well, that proves why uh, everyone in the 70s was on acid. <laughs> I wasn't. Uh, but you might think so after that little uh, tune. Uh, <laughs> that was something that played on Dr. Demento in the late 70s. So anyway, we have got beer bail. You know it. You know it. That, you know that tone. So we have beer mail that came in from... The other infamous, we came in from Tyler at Everty Homebrew. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. So pull up. We've unwrapped it to make this go quickly. But first, one thing that he sent us that was an extra shocker, really fun, is he sent a beer from Under the Table Brewing. It's the, I don't know if you can see this. It's the Lemon Drop from the 2015 hop experiment that Puka and C put together. Well, I won't pull it out, but just to assure you, it's really secure in here. It's very <laughs> secure in there. All right, well, to first start off, we got one from Central Waters Brewing Company. This is the Barley Wine Ale from their Barrel Age series, the Brewer's Reserve. So, uh, And this one gets a 96 yeah. on Beer Advocate. So, wow. Looks pretty awesome. I've, I've heard such amazing things about Central Waters. I've never had any of their beers. And this next one is the Scotch Ale. And I do like big Scotch Ales. So, yeah, that sounds fun. And a barrel-aged Scotch Ale, though. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the same uh, one out of their same Brewers series. Reserve. Yeah. And then out of the same series, we then got their Cherry Stout. And all of these are barrel-aged, so... Jeez, these will be some fun uh, beers to try out. And then we've got one more from from Central Waters. It is just the the stout, but it, again, it's part of that same series. It's the Brewers Reserve Bourbon Barrel Stout. 
Again, another score of 96. I mean, these are Man. top rated beers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The next one we have is from uh, New Glarus uh, Brewing Company out of, uh, you said it was uh, Wisconsin, huh? Yeah, so that's pretty sweet. And this is their barley wine. Now, uh, it could be part of their uh, fingerprint series. It shows a fingerprint. It shows a fingerprint on uh, the state of Wisconsin, but... Uh... Now, you need to know Tyler's from Wisconsin, so... Then we've got one called Ode Brune. So it's an Ode Brune. They have a couple... They make a several Ode Brunes there. But uh, here you go. This is this one, and uh, I, I like Flanders Ode Brune, so... Yeah. That's good stuff. And it keeps going, guys. Don't worry. Uh, we now have the Enigma uh, from New Glarus Brewing Company. Still part of this fingerprint series. And this one uh, is also in Flander Odrun. Uh, it ranks in the 93s right there. So that's pretty, pretty gosh darn awesome. And then the next one we've got is the Cran Bic. It's, it's basically... Uh, a lambic fruit. So I'm assuming it's a cranberry uh, lambic beer. And mm -hmm. lambic's are always fun. Again, ranking at 95 and part of the fingerprint series. So, wow. Yeah. Blown away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just blown away. So while we recover from that, check out some video uh, with the one and only Tony Yates. I think by now there's tens of thousands of people already have a Because they've brewery. been watching your videos. They've been watching Cal over so. at electricbrewery.com. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want an electric brewery system, go to the electricbrewery.com and check now, it out. Now, my big question though mm -hmm. is has Greg Cook from Stone made comments to Cal? <laughs> because he has made comments about your videos and your system. That's true. and I do remember not being able to sleep much that night. <laughs> this is a humble guy. I'm really putting him on the spot hard. I know it. <laughs> but here we are. How amazing to get to spend an a, a afternoon and evening with Tony. I, I, I can't even tell you. And oh, he's staying just, in my home tonight with his family. And it's so awesome to be here in Portland, Oregon, kicking back with a couple monumental beers so with what, Kevin. Do you, do you know what we got here? I know what we got. What do we got here, Tony? We got, here, we got the Black Tuesday from, from the, the brewery. The brewery, that's right. This mm -hmm. is a white whale beer. Oh, man. This is, yeah, this is Moby it. Dick. This is Moby Dick. Why is it not named Moby Dick? Oh, my God. Moby would be jealous of this beer. He so would. That's right. Oh. But... If you've watched Tony's videos and you've you've got what what an incredibly nice cool guy he must be. Uh, you know, you you watch movie stars on TV and you go I think that guy could be my friend. You know, but you know, you have no idea. This is the real deal right here. If, so. if you've stayed awake <laughs> through my long videos <laughs> and happen to see anything of interest, I appreciate you watching. <laughs> he really is the real deal. So mm -hmm. what what a joy. And his wife is beautiful and forgiving and tolerant of us. And just what cute kids. The sweet kids. So Thanks, Kevin. we had a nice evening together and Mrs. Clement's homebrew, but we had a fun time at a, a local place for dinner oh, tonight. Yes, that was fabulous. And we've got a big uh Waffle breakfast coming that the kids are going to enjoy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to really enjoy it, too. They, I kept hearing stories about them having these pancake breakfasts in the U.S., and we're just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not used to that. No. So, but um, we, we needed to do just a quick thing to show it really happened. We got to meet each other, and I, I don't know how it'll happen. I, I really would love to end up in Norway. I don't know how, but... There's an open invitation without a doubt. Anytime, any year, just come. I and I will try to make that happen. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, uh, I'll do whatever other Homebrew Wednesday stuff I do. But we needed to have this moment to say hello and and hello be together, enjoy it, and um, I, I 
I'm just I'm just so thrilled, man. I can't. I'm, I'm I, thrilled to be here. <laughs> this is awesome. I just can't tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're drip. We're, we're just dripping and drinking this paradise, right? We've here. had one beer tonight, <laughs> if you can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 18.9 percent, but uh, yeah, you know. But we're we're feeling just just fine. Oh, by the Happy. way, a piece of fun. Tony just caught a mole in my house. Right. It's, it's got to be documented. The cat brought it in as a toy. It was only this big, though. <laughs> it was just a wee size. That's what makes it even better, that he could catch this little speedy things of size. So. Thanks to the cat for bringing it in and making the evening interesting. <laughs> but we're out here making a beer review, and then we see Tony's wife standing up on a chair and his daughter, you know. <laughs> it's like... I think we're done. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, we should probably go in and help. <laughs> so anyway, mm -hmm. you guys have a wonderful week. I hope you get to meet other Homebrew Wednesday friends, and I'm just so glad to get to meet my friend. Dear friend, I've gotten to chat with him on Uvu, but I just love him all that much more. you got to watch his videos. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. So once again, Tony, what a treat to meet him tony thank you for the time that you gave that was a gift tony and i stayed up to about 2 45 in the morning we said you know we should probably head to bed <laughs> we we talked till late and cute kids i had a fun time with the kids we went to the park in the morning we had a nice big breakfast and went to the park um but anyway uh we've got not much more than that we are two exhausted guys and it's probably getting close to 10 p.m. at this point <laughs> it's my bedtime <laughs> it, it it is and especially after a long day for us so yeah. uh this is kevin this is christian at clement's homebrew saying happy homebrew wednesday and we will catch you all next week